everybody and welcome to the channel Crossing the Spiritual Streams. My name is Tandra and today we're going to do a Tarot Pick a Pile card reading on who are your future children. You know, how many they, there might be, what their personalities are like, whether they're boys or girls, what your relationship with them might be, that kind of thing. We did a reading like this a while back and it was so much fun to do and I really um, wanted to do another one. These are general readings, and because there's only three piles and there's infinite uh, ways that your children can come into your life and what they might be like and all that, that particular reading may not have resonated with you, or maybe you didn't get a chance to see it, so maybe this one will, okay? And so with that, we do have three different piles that you can choose from. We have pile one that has the purple rattle with the rocking horse. We have pile two with the green rattle and the rocking horse. And then we have pile three with the yellow rattle and rocking horse. Okay, so those are your piles to choose from uh, to let you know about your children. And we're going to give you some time to reflect on these piles. And when you are ready to go watch your reading, there is timestamps listed in the description and you can go directly to your reading. So we'll see you there. Hello, Pal One. Welcome to your reading on who are your future children. We're going to find out hopefully how many there are, whether they're boys or girls, what their personalities might be like, how their relationship with you might be, those kinds of things. So I'm looking so forward to this reading today. All right, do remember that this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate with everybody. Also, our free will can change the future and how things might play out. Okay, so that's just kind of a quick little caveat there to help you guys figure out uh, also if the reading doesn't resonate with you for any reason then maybe it wasn't the right pile for you or the right reading for you uh, I did mention in the introduction that we did do another one of these readings a while back so if this reading doesn't resonate with you and you haven't seen the other one you might go check that out as well okay so just to let you guys know that we do have our tarot cards we're going to be looking at today. We also have our charms and our oracle spheres. So you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to as well. So we're going to be doing that. All right, so let's move our rattle and our bracelet and our rocking horse over to the side here. And let's find out about these children. All right. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Fool card. All right, we also have the Devil. We also have the Nine of Cups. Again, wow, cool. We have the Nine of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Swords and the King of Cups. Wow. Okay. Whew. I believe what, what I'm kind of seeing here is two children. I see uh, them both being boys. Okay. And... Their personalities are way different. Um, it's really interesting. One is a very hard worker. Uh, they will do things for you. They jump right in. They, you know, don't have a problem working hard. They probably will grow up to work very hard for a specific company or for, um, you know, whatever it is that they do. Like if they're farmers, let's say, they're going to be the ones that take over the farm. If they're, you know, in a big city, they might be the one that might become a CEO of a, of a um, business. You know, that kind of energy. They're the ones that, you know, they go out and they, they're always going to jump in. They're always going to do 
what needs to be done. They're going to be the ones that are going to help you. The other uh, boy is going to be more of a carefree spirit. They're going to be artistic. They're going to want to travel. They uh, are young at heart. They're kind of playful. They might want to go out and do adventure. They might even join the military or, you know, I think of things like the Foreign Legion, you know, things like that. Or Mariner go out to sea, you know, adventure. They crave adventure. They want to do things like that. Uh, they would work for you. They would do things for you if you need them to, but they're not necessarily uh, ones that want to jump right in and, and do a lot of hard work right off the bat. Uh, they will do work and they are going to be, um, you know, they'll be able to get by in the world okay because they're willing to do hard work. Like, I almost think of them as maybe going off to Alaska and working in the fisheries during fishing season, you know, going out on the boats and catching crab or something, you know, things like that. Th that's the kind of energy I'm getting with the second child here is, you know, they crave adventure. They want to go out and do things. You're going to have a very close family. Uh, the, the, the venturesome one and the other one sometimes don't see eye to eye because, you know, they do have such different personalities, but the adventuresome child, um, and the word Ben came to mind. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been thinking about naming a child Ben, but that name jumped into my head. So we'll pop that out there. But the, um, the one who's adventuresome and honestly, I don't know if that would be the younger one or the older one. I think it's different for each of you. So, because um, at first I was trying to think of which one would be um, born first, but I don't know. It could be either. But the adventuresome one is one that brings a lot of joy to the family. He's got a lot of sense of humor. He's, you know, very fun. Everybody loves him in the family, even the other brother. Uh, so they do love each other. I don't see the um, one that's more adventuresome, like going out and, you know, being a never-do-well or anything like that. I don't see him, you know, being a disappointment in the family or those kinds of things. I just see him as being somebody who's a more carefree spirit. Uh, he might be an artist. It's possible. It's also possible that... Um, he is somebody that would go off and go to like places like Tibet and places like that to learn to find himself or find his spirituality. Like I said, he's a very free spirit kind of person. He wants to travel. He wants to learn about things. He wants to do things. So I see, you know, that kind of personality going on there. So there could be all that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I think you have a very close family. I, uh, you don't get to see the sons once they grow up as much as you would like because they're so busy with their lives. But when they do come home, it's a very celebratory time. It's a very um, happy occasion. Like I said, you guys are very close. You, you do keep in touch uh, very well. And with today's technology, that's not that hard to do. Um, but you... You do keep in touch. You do, um, you know, have that kind of relationship with them where you do spend a lot of time with them when you can, uh, even if it's not in person. And when it is in person, it's a big celebratory time. You guys have, you know, wonderful, uh, you're going to have a lot of good memories um, with the children. Um, you're going to... When you think back on them in later years, you're going to laugh and smile and just have wonderful memories of their antics and how precious they were to you, you know, that kind of thing. You're going to have those kinds of memories with them. So that sounds really exciting. I really like that. Let's go on to our charms. We might be able to say a little bit more about the children. Or, um, you know, maybe another child will sneak in here a little bit if we get some charms. I mean, so far I'm only resonating with two, but you never know. There might be another one that pops up in there. Sometimes that happens. But let's see what we got going.
Mm, not very many charms. Wow, interesting. Okay, well, we've got the Cancer symbol, and so that just shows to me the wonderful home life you're, you're going to have with the children and, you know, how special that's going to be. So um, I see that there. We also have um, the sign of Leo. So it's very possible that the sun that's adventuresome will be a Leo, which makes sense because they can be that way. But also the Leo sign is also uh, the symbol of um, the house that deals with children um, a lot. It's also the symbol of, you know, lions in themselves are very um, close to their children and whatnot. So uh, to me, both of those kind of show that closeness that you're going to have there a little bit. We do have the name, uh, a W. I think that might be an initial uh, for maybe one of the children or, you know, a word or something. We do have the moon and the sun here, which I kind of see as the dichotomy between the two children, how one is one way and one's the other. Um, you know, so they kind of balance each other out there a little bit. Um, we also have the summer shell here. So I do think that at least one of the children is born in the summertime. And it could be both because Cancer and Leo are both summertime uh, signs. You know, they're kind of, you know, in July, early July, late July, you know, in August, you know, June, July, August, those kind of months. So it's very possible you will have the children in those months. So that's just something for you to think about as well. Um, we do have the... Uh, horseshoe symbol which I really like for this because I think you're going to be very lucky um, to have the children you're going to feel very lucky it's going to be kind of a you know maybe you might have trouble having children and then when you have them you just feel incredibly lucky or, or something like that somehow you know there's some luck involved here with that we also have the jack of diamonds and that just kind of goes along with our page of sword here and, and that kind of thing. So uh, that just goes along with, um, I, I almost, you know, see one is one child, one is the other. You know, one's going to go out and make a little bit more money, work a little harder. One's going to go out and have adventure and, you know, do those kinds of things. Um, might not make tons of money, but he's going to be able to make his own way. So there you go on that. So there's your charms. Let's take a look at your oracle spheres because you might have some questions that you might want to ask here. All right. How these work is you think of a question that has a yes or no type of answer involved with it. And you pick a stand that you would like to get your answer to appear on. We have silver, blue, green, and purple. So you pick which stand you would like to get your answer. And then we will go out and get those answers. All right. Number one, gray is a not sure. Hmm, that means things might need to play out a little bit before we can have that kind of answer. Number two, blue is a not now. Number three, green is a no. And a number four, purple is a not now. Okay, so we have a number one, silver is a not sure. Number two, blue is a not now. Number three, green is a no. And a number four, purple is a not now. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Please remember to share the channel with your friends and family. It's very, very important to us. We do have a unique URL. It is listed in the description. You can copy and paste it. You can text it to some people you think might enjoy the channel. You can email it to some of your friends and family, or you can put it on your social media accounts and uh, offer it out there for people to check us out and take a look at the channel. Uh, those are all great ways for people to see us, and we appreciate it so much when you guys do that. Do check out our other videos on the channel. We do do a daily message from Spirit. That might be something that you would like to check out. We also do these types of videos on lots of different topics, uh, at least once a week, sometimes more. So do check those out as well. We do look forward to seeing you in those future videos, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. 
on who are your future children. What are they like? How many there might be? What your, their relationship with them might be? What their personalities are? Whether they're boys or girls? Those kinds of things coming through here on today's reading. Now, I did mention in uh, the introduction that we did do another reading like this a while back. And it is possible that this reading won't resonate with everybody who watches it because there are so many just unique possibilities and they are just general readings. So if that is the case, then maybe this isn't the reading for you. And if you didn't see the other one, you might check it out in case there's messages for you in that one. But either way, um, I just want to give a caveat that also things might change up in the future because we do have our own free will and some of our actions might change the outcome or how things end up in the future as well. Okay, so just kind of let you know that, uh, just kind of as a beginning thing. But with that being said, I love doing these readings. They're probably my very favorite of the whole uh, channel. They're just so much fun to find out um, what what's what's out there about these children and what they're like, and you know some of the things that might happen with them and stuff. It's just uh, so much fun. All right, so we're going to look at your tarot cards, but we also have our charms we're going to look at today, as well as our oracle spheres, so you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you might get an answer to on this as well. So let's just get started here and find out about these children. All right, what do we have today? We have strength. We have the page of pentacles. We have the six of swords. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Moon card. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Hermit. We have the Moon card again. Okay. And we have the Two of Wands. And then the Knight of Pentacles. All right, well, the first energy I'm going to get is it might be quite difficult uh, for you to have children. Um, it's something I think that you're going to want and you're going to try very hard, but it might be very difficult for a while. Um, that does happen in today's society, unfortunately, and I hate that. But I do, even though I see that it might be difficult, I do think that it will eventually come to pass. And I see two different scenarios here, okay? So maybe it's because of the people watching. I'm seeing two different things here. But uh, what I'm seeing is either you'll have one child, uh, finally, that, you know, after, you know, some difficulty getting pregnant or uh, maybe even some miscarriages, which I really hope that doesn't happen for you guys because... That's awful. Um, but after difficulties, you might finally end up getting pregnant and or adopting or, you know, and that's very possible that you'll actually adopt some ch children or a child because um, it might be very um, difficult for you to have children in whatever way. And that might be the solution that you'll come up with is you might actually adopt a child. But if you have one naturally, it will, um, it's very possible it'd be just one or a set of twins, okay? I see two different scenarios here. I think if you, and this is different for each of you too, so th this reading, there must be a lot of different people watching this reading because a lot of times I think of things very definitely, um, but in this particular reading, I'm, I keep seeing two different types of scenarios or two different things. So... I don't know if you have the single child, if it'll be a boy or girl, because for some of you guys, it'll be one, some of you the other. I am leaning more towards girl, though. Um, so I think more of you, it will be a girl. Uh, if you have twins, I think it will be a boy and a girl. Okay? Uh, that's a little bit more definite. But uh, for some reason, with the single child, I'm having trouble telling whether it's a boy or a girl, because I think it could be either uh, depending on who who's watching so I'm having a little trouble with that but if you do have the twins if, if that is what the way it goes I do think it's going to be a boy and a girl okay um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing here um, 
they're going to be sensitive children. Um, maybe very spiritual, maybe even have some kind of special psychic abilities involved with them, like intuition especially. They're going to have um, that connection with spirit. They're going to be able to know things that, you know, maybe other people don't know. They're going to be very sensitive to people around them. They might be empathic. Um, that's the kind of energy I'm getting uh, with the children uh, or child is that they're going to be very sensitive uh, in a lot of ways. If you adopt the child, it will probably be a slightly older child, like maybe two or three years old, and they may have gone through some rough times um, in their early lives, and that might be one reason why they're sensitive or a little bit more um seclusive kind of person um, I see that as their personality but your relationship is going to be a very tender one um, I see a very you know deep close relationship they're going to rely on you uh, greatly for support and guidance and they're going to think of you in a very caring light throughout their whole life I also see them as quite intelligent they're um, you know, going to have a unique perspective on life, I think. They're going to um, see things differently than a lot of people do. And I think that might have something to do with their intuition or their empathic abilities or other things like that. I feel like they're going to be able to see things from a different light. And honestly... With your relationship with them, they're going to make you see things differently as well because they're going to talk to you about certain things in certain ways and you're going to think about them and you're going to see things from a different perspective than what you have before you have them. You're going to be able to look at things differently. You're going to be able to see things from a different angle. You're going to be able to appreciate things differently than you had in the past. Um, they're going to bring some very special things to your life. You're going to be able, your connection is going to be very deep. Um, you're going to have the, the very deep conversations. They're going to, like I said, just bring a certain perspective to your life that you don't expect. It's going to be just, wow, it, it, it's it's almost hard to explain because it is such a deep spiritual connection that sometimes we don't get with our children. Uh, you know, a lot of times they grow up and they go live their own lives and they go off and, you know, they're just separate uh, children. But in this case, you guys are going to be very, very close um, in that, you know, emotionally very close, if not physically very close. You know, you may not see each other all the time once you, they grow up. But I got a feeling they're going to live relatively close to you. Um, you're going to see each other. You're going to be able to rely on them. They're going to be able to help you out when need be. Um, that kind of energy, that's the energy I'm getting from them. So, wow, that's that's a really cool perspective that you guys might have some you know very cool connection with the children i love that because not everybody gets that with their children sometimes there's you know conflict or you know arguments or a lot of other things and i don't see that with you guys uh nearly as much as uh, you would other children so that's really uh something to look forward to there all right let's take a look at our charms let's see if there's anything else about this child or children uh, that we can find out or, you know, every once in a while in the charms, another child will sneak in there uh, that's not in the tarot cards or something like that. So let's see what the, the charms have to say for us. Okay, we do have the 10, which I see that as, like I said, the, um, that emotional um, closeness that, um, you know, fulfilling of, of, of emotion there um, a little bit. We do have 
the Virgo energy and that once again shows how difficult it might be for you to have children but also how um, close your children are to you when, when you do have them or, or get them because um, Virgos you know are very down-to-earth practical kind of people but um, you know it means a lot to them um, the children that they have they're very close to them so uh, just to let you know that we do have the choose happy which to me that um, goes along with what I was saying about the you know your perspective on life and how your you know life will change greatly um, with this child or children and how they will um, give you a different perspective on things and um, the choose happy is kind of you know that perspective kind of thing of you know choose happy. We do have the hope ribbon and the dream here. So don't give up hope. Don't stop dreaming because, you know, this child or, or, or children are, are there. Uh, they can be in your future. They are there for you. Um, so don't give up hope and don't stop dreaming. Okay? Because that's just something uh, that, you know, can be there for you. You do have the three of spades, which um, unfortunately I see as a little bit of a heartache here. And I think that has to do with how hard or difficult it might be for you to have children. I think that um, that's just kind of showing that and, and letting you know that. I really wish in my readings I could say all wonderful, happy things entirely. Um, but the universe doesn't let me do that. If there is something that's a little bit more difficult to say, I really have to say it just to kind of give you a warning or a heads up. And it's kind of one of those things that, you know, comes out. I wish I could be all happy and light because that's the way I like to live my life. But not everything in life turns out that way all the time. So I do have to say the rough times with the good times. And so, you know, this is going to be slightly difficult uh, or somewhat difficult or, but, but it will be worth it in the long run when you actually do get the child, okay, or children. Um, we do have the dragon energy. Um, and to me, that's just the passionate, um, how passionate you are about, you know, children or having the children and. Um, how much strength it's going to take to keep going and keep trying and keep working at it, okay? It might cost some money as well. Um, we do have the wheat painting here. Um, so this may actually cost some money, especially if you have to go adopt or do IVF or other things like that. So uh, be prepared for that, that it may cost some money to get this to happen. Uh, we do have the summer shell, though. So um, I see that as the summer... Uh, brightness that they can bring into your life and and you know the happy times there we do have the world card which or the world charm which I do like because also I see that too I got to thinking about earlier and this is just kind of bringing it home that if you adopt it may be from somebody from another country um, especially if you live in the US it may be somebody from uh, countries like Afghanistan or China or someplace, and like I said, their, their early life might have been really rough for whatever reason, or it might be in a war-torn country or, or something else and they were in an orphanage. I kind of had that feeling for those of you that might need to adopt. So that's just uh, something that came about there. So it's possible that they will uh, be from another part of the world than when, where you're from. Um, so that's just something for you to think about as well. We also have the French horn here, which whenever we get musical instruments, a lot of times I think about harmony and peace and that kind of thing. And I really do feel like that's the energy I get with this child or children uh, for you um, is that inner harmony and peace that you'll have with them. So that's just the kind of feeling, the energy I get from this child of how, you know, peaceful, um, I guess is the word I think of when I, when I think of you guys together or how you feel um, with this child, okay? So that's how we go there. All right, let's go ahead and do our oracle spheres. 
This is where you think of a question that has a yes or no type of answer. And then you go out and you pick a stand for your answer to be on. We have purple, green, blue, and then gray. You decide which stand you want your answer on. You think of your question. And then we'll go out and we'll get our answers. All right, the number one purple is a not sure. Number two green is a no. The not sure one often will mean that either question wasn't very clear or if your question was clear, then it's possible that some things have to play out first before the answer can be known, as in there's different circumstances that can kind of change the answer up. Okay. The number three blue is a maybe. And the number four silver is a not likely. Okay, so number one, purple is a not sure. Number two, green is a no. Number three, blue is a maybe. And a number four, silver is a not likely. So there's your Oracle Spirit answers for today's reading. Thank you so much for watching the reading. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Share the channel with your friends and family. We do have that unique URL. It is listed in the description. You can copy and paste it. You can email it to interested people or text it. You can put it on your social media accounts. You know, those are all ways that other people get a chance to check us out as well. And we very much appreciate it. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, because we do put out videos every single week on lots of different topics. Most of them are timeless. We also have our daily messages from Spirit. So you can check those out on a daily basis as well. We do look forward to seeing you in other videos and may the stars guide your path. Bye bye. Hello, pile three and welcome to your reading on who are your ch future children? What are they gonna be like? How many, what their personalities are like? What your relationship with you might be like? Those kinds of things. I've enjoyed doing this reading so far. They're one of my favorite readings in the whole channel. I just love doing these. Um, we did do one in the past, and because not all messages will resonate with everybody, if you watch the video and it doesn't really resonate with you or it doesn't seem quite right, it might be because this video isn't for you, and you might check out the other one if you haven't already done so, okay? Um, so just to let you guys know that. Also, we do have free will. So our different decisions in life and the different things that we might do might change some things up in the future too. So just to let you know that. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll put our things off to the side. We do have our tarot cards we're going to look at. We also have charms and oracle spheres. So you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to as well. So let's meet our children here. Let's find out about them. All right. We have the Page of Swords. The star card, the five of pentacles, the king of cups, the five of swords, hmm. the magician, the empress, the five of cups. Wow, you guys have five energies going on here. The Eight of Wands and the Fool card. Okay. Well, first of all, I feel like you guys have been wanting children. Um, you've been trying to manifest children into your life. You've been trying to put um, out into the universe that you want children. You know, this is something that I think you greatly want. Um, it hasn't really come about yet, I don't think. Um, for most of you, uh, you know, I don't think you have any children yet. I do think you've been wanting it. You've, uh, you know, it's something you've wanted greatly, uh, and you've been putting that out there saying, I really want children, please, you know, bring me a child, give me a child. Um, I, I, I get that energy going on, but I also get that... The child or children that you're going to have, and I really 
need to to think about this to figure out how many you might have um is going to bring a big change to your life okay they're, they're going to change your life drastically which i guess children do that anyway but I see your life turning around for the better once you have children, um, at least for a while. I do feel like, though, you might have some hard times with them, uh, not personality-wise or anything like that. I feel like... Um, the children that you do have, and I think it might just be one, um, to be quite honest, and I think it probably is going to be a boy, but there is a possibility for some of you guys it will be a girl, uh, but she's going to have, if it is a girl, she's going to um, be very boy-like in her mannerisms she's you know going to be very um what, what, what we used to try to call tomboys here in this in, in the states but basically um i think what's going to happen is i think the child that you're going to have is going to be a very adventuresome type of spirit he's going to um want to do things like jump off of barn roofs, you know, climb trees, um, ride skateboards, you know, do those kinds of things, okay? And it's very possible he'll get hurt and, you know, break a leg or an arm or, uh, you know, things like that. You'll, you'll be worried about, about him quite a bit, <laughs> Um, because of those kinds of energies, because of how he is always wanting to go out there and, you know, fight the good fight if there is one. He might, you know, even go off in the military or she, like I said, it could be either, although I really feel like for most of you guys it's going to be a boy. Um, could go off in the military, could... Uh, go off on missionary trips down in really rough countries, um, you know, those kinds of things. Uh, when they're when 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 they're young, they, you know, like I said, are going to do adventuresome things that might get them into you know a little bit of trouble or mischief or slight injuries, things like that. And then when they get older, they're going to still go out and get into the kinds of things that might um, cause them some issues or some problems. Um, I feel like that's the kind of energy that this person has. Uh, you, on the other hand, you're going to, if you're a woman or the mother, uh, figure in in the person's life you are going to have just this wonderful motherly um type of energy with the child and if and if you're not you know the mother person then your partner is going to be the one that is th there's going to be a great mother-son bond i think is is what i'm trying to say here um, there's going to be that where no matter how far away he travels, no matter what, he, you know, trouble he gets into, no matter what happens, he can always come back home and get rejuvenated and recharged back home with you. Okay. Um, you have this wonderful motherly nature with them. You are. Um, are always able to give great advice. You um, are always able to, you know, you, you have great intuition. You, you have a close intuition. Um, I'm trying to think of how to say it. You have a connection with him that is very deeply um, in intuition like in other words 
you know when he needs your help, you know when there's a problem, you're able to give really, really good advice, you are that wonderful comforting figure that can um, help him whenever he needs it. He always knows he can come home um, to you and, and get the nurturing and the loving and the advice and other things that he needs. You um, eventually what I feel like with this child is he's going to turn into a very strong upright man who you know even though in his youth and maybe well into his 30s and 40s you know he might be quite you know troublesome or, or get into little bits of trouble here and there or you know doesn't always make the right decisions or you know just has things going on even though that's going to happen eventually he's going to turn into a very very strong upright very um compassionate and um, special kind of person and it's all due to the upbringing that he had okay so the connection that he has with his parents um, and with his mother especially uh, because she is somebody that has such great intuitional powers such great um, advice and motherly love and those kinds of things um, because of that, it really turns him into this, this really uh, special kind of person. One of the energies I'm getting here is um, I have several siblings. And one of them was the type of guy who he ended up getting in trouble because he broke a guy's jaw because... The guy was hurting his girlfriend and my brother jumped in and didn't want that to happen and you know he broke the guy's jaw and he got in some trouble. Um, that's the kind of person that I see this person being. That even though he might go out and get himself in some trouble and have some issues and do some other stuff, deep down he's a really, really good person. And he does things for the right reasons. It just doesn't always turn out um, to be, you know, the best thing for him where he might have some issues with it or some problems, okay? So that's the kind of energy I'm getting here with this child. So it's a very special child, and you have a very special bond with this child, okay? So that's the energy I'm getting uh, between you guys. So, you know, that's something to look forward to I think but but you're gonna have a handful um, like I said this this person is definitely one to go out and um, you know have issues and get in trouble and do stuff but, but he's a very kind-hearted good soul um, in the long run and so that's you know you're just gonna be your strong self and your person and get him through all of those types of adventures and things going on in his life you're, you're going to be able to um, stick through and do all of that that it takes to get him through all those things because he's going to need you um, that's kind of the, the energy I'm getting there um, all right so let's go through and do our charms and then we'll do our oracle spheres let's see sometimes with the charms another child will sneak in or some more energies or other um, things will come through so we'll do our charms and we'll see uh, what else we might find out all right okay what we got well we got another five this child is going to make a big difference in your life okay um like i said there's that conflict there's that you know all that whole energy is going on there it's amazing um you know, this person's a very wild, free spirit kind of person, you know. Um, but we do have this, see this connection here? This heart, and, you know, the mother and the, you know, baby loving each other there. That's the connection you guys have, okay? Um, and we got in my heart. Oh, wow, that one has never shown up in a reading. That is amazing. 
Um, so they're going to be very dear to you, and you're going to be very dear to them. Um, shine like the stars. Um, that's beautiful with the star card you had as well. Um, you know, the relationship you guys have with each other is going to be that, that very deep connection uh, going there. We do have a P, an R, and an M. Those might be initials. Those might um, a word you might think of or something like that. So um, we do have the salamander here. So I do think of a passionate energy. I do think of that fiery uh, nature that I think this person has. Um, and, you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, that's going on there. We do have the live in the moment, which I do feel like um, he will be that kind of person who will live in the moment, who, you know, will just go on and, and do that kind of stuff. We do have the dove letter here. Um, usually that means to me that spirit or past on loved ones have a special message for you. Uh, I am not entirely certain how it pertains to this particular reading. I think it's going to resonate with you guys differently in different ways. One of the things I see with this is that it's very possible that this child is like a reincarnated person of somebody that you knew in your life that was very important to you, like maybe a grandparent. Um, somebody like that, that might have had the same kind of personality that we're talking about here. Uh, that's one thing I'm kind of getting that's, that's coming through. The other thing I'm getting is that spirit or your spirit team might be sending you some kind of messages to help you out with this child or to, to be able to have this child. And they want you to pay attention and listen to that. So it's kind of the, the little messages I'm getting with that there. So you guys go with whatever resonates with you there on that. Okay. We do have, after all this time, always, and we do have the, the circle love. So, like I said, you guys are going to have this very, very deep bond. Um, it's interesting, too, how we have uh, the drama gloves and the comb. They are going to, we do have the diamonds. Um, I do think of them as kind of being that diamond in the rough sort of energy. Um, and also, you know, being that whole diamond energy in your life, like, you know, being as precious to you, you know, as diamonds. But also the drama gloves. I think it can bring a lot of drama into your life and things like that. Um, we do have the seashell here, which um, I always see as kind of, um, there's going to be a special pearl inside, basically, and that's kind of the energy I get with this child anyway, um, is, you know, they're going to be that special to you. We do have some three energies here. We have the three of hearts and the three of wands. Um, threes are good creative energies. They're also good spiritual energies. They, um, are also good community energies. So I feel like, um, and also what I see with you guys is just a deep family unit, um, with three for, for some reason. That's just kind of what struck me with that. We do also have the six of wands, um, which is that other uh, beautiful celebratory nature. So I do feel like, you know, this child is going to be one that's going to um, bring a lot of joy to your life. Basically because you have so much drama and other things that are going to be going on with this child. Um, you're going to have to stop every once in a while and just kind of sigh and just go, wow, you know, this child brought a lot to my life. This child has brought a lot here because sometimes you're just going to be wanting to pull your hair out. There's going to be times that you're just going to go, oh my goodness. But when you stop and think about it, it's going to be, um, you know, very special. So there you got going there. All right. So, let's take a look at your oracle spheres. And on this, you think of a yes or no type of question that you um, can get an answer to. And then we have four different stands. We have silver, blue, green, and purple. You pick which stand you would like to get your answers on, and then we'll go out and we'll get our answers. All right, the number one silver is a not now. 
number two blues and not sure. Number three green is a not likely. And then the number four purple is a not now. Okay. So number one silver is not now. Number two blue is not sure. Number three green is not likely. And a number four purple is not now. So lots of knots in that one. Okay. Uh, that's your Oracle Sphere answers for today's reading. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Share the channel with your friends and family. We do have that unique URL. It is listed in the description. You can copy and paste it. You can text it to people. You can email it to people. You can put it out there on your social media accounts. Whatever works for you. But all of those things are very useful to us. And we want to say thank you. Also, do check out our other videos. We do put out a lot of Timeless Tarot videos. And we do put out videos every week. Uh, that might be of interest to you, so do check those out. We also do put out our daily messages from Spirit that you might want to check out as well. We do look forward to seeing you in other videos, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye.